왔다 
I only handle technical matters. I only handle technical matters. I only handle technical matters.
Calculating environmental data with objective. Clear qualification assessment, frontline. The squad has found a bamboo lost in the hollow. A support bamboo will provide buffs, but cannot unleash bamboo chain attacks. You may bring up to two support bamboo and switch them out if you encounter a new one in the hollow. Master, you can use EOS's communication module and convince them to aid you in battle. They're so intricate. Can they also be used as gears? Need some help? This time it's on the house. Dangerous target. 
target detected. Corrected bandage, ruthless seeds, spiked soldiers, powerful arms, and sharp claws. These are all dangerous aspects in combat. While it isn't a frenzy state, it is best not to face it head on. We've arrived at the White Star Institute's frontline supply outpost. To unlock it, you need to obtain an S rating in the previous battle. But Fairy will unlock it for you this time. You are welcome, Master. This is the outpost's exit. Make sure to rest well before leaving, Master. There's more! We've reached the depths. Continue and clear qualification assessment, frontline. Encrypted area data extracted. Retrieved number seven. Encrypted area data part two extracted. 
Retrieved number seven. Encrypted area data part three extracted. Retrieved number seven. Encrypted area data part four extracted. Retrieved number seven. Data collection complete. Retrieved password seven, 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 seven. Supplies unlocked. <laughs> I hope there's more. Expensive. Can I have it for free? Andy, reporting in. Andy, here to support. Bernard. 
This is all good. Initial impulse. Full power. Go now, my child. Target strike. I'll show you. My turn. Oh, this little one is so cute. I'll just explode.
Roxy. Have you hit a roadblock? If you got any questions, come find Welcome in. What mods are you going for this time? If you got any questions, come find me anytime. I'll be here.
Yeah. 
It's connected. Hello? Can you hear me, Wise? Don't worry. Barry and I will make sure you're safe. Just focus on the client. Oh, and don't forget the code word Shepard gave you. Flame Thunder. Hi. Decent weather we're having. <clears throat> Wait! Flame! <sighs> Thunder. Two minutes and fifty-five seconds. That's how late you are for our meeting. In the Defense Force, disciplinary action would be warranted. As a penalty, 175 push-ups, or 87.5 one-handed push-ups, would be required. Can you show me what 0.5 of a one-handed push-up is supposed to look like? In the Defense Force, asking such silly questions would warrant double punishment. But it's not my duty to oversee the conduct of private citizens, nor is it my purpose in coming here. You're the proxy Shepard recommended? Remember. This conversation never happened, you've never met me, and what I'm about to say is confidential. You can call me Soldier 11 of the Defense Forces Obsidian Division. Shepard has given me your information, so it's only right I'm upfront about my identity. How is just telling us a code name being upfront? You must have a real name, right? Lucy? Marie. Lucy Marie? Those sound like names you would hear in an old Civilization cowboy film. Is this a reflection of your sense of humor, second assistant? Be quiet. The client is about to explain the commission. Shepard tells me you're a highly skilled wanderer from the South with no local ties. Previously active under the name Crimson Twilight. Crimson Twilight. Yes, hearing it brings back a lot of memories. A cowboy name is better than some of those you hear in old civilization cartoons, right? To keep it brief, my mission is simple. Catch a mole. We've recently identified a spy among our unit, from a nearby rebel force, who isn't yet aware his identity has been exposed. My superiors want me to use this spy to locate the rebels and eliminate them all at once. I will execute the plan myself and pretend to defect from the Defense Force to make contact with the spy. My fake defection is going well so far. I've made contact with them discreetly, but they've yet to completely trust me. But the operation isn't without merit. We've learned the spy is a great admirer of an industry-renowned proxy. With that proxy's support, he'd be willing to take the next step immediately to involve me in his secret missions, which will allow me to meet his superiors. And that's where you come in. I need you to pretend to be this proxy and help me follow the spy's instructions. Can you do this, Crimson Darkness? Who do I need to pretend to be? Are they famous in the industry? I don't know much about civilians, but even I've heard the name. Phaethon. This is gonna be trouble. Pretending to be Faithen. That's a job Faithen has yet to take on. Searching, pretending to be myself, online. Zero results found. Related results. I sell myself. I hit myself. I kill- How useful, Barry. How could we possibly live without you? Is everything all right, Crimson Gloom? You look troubled. Oh, nothing. No worries. I understand you likely feel a lot of pressure having to pretend to be Faithen. But Shepard would stake his career on your abilities, so I know you won't let me, the Defense Force, and the people of New Eridu down. So relax. 
<laughs> It'd be weirder to relax after hearing that, right? I've posted the encrypted commission details on Internaut. That's how you normally do things, right? I'll contact you after you've checked the details and accepted the commission. Job-wise, Soldier Eleven didn't seem to realize you live here. I never thought we'd get a commission from the new Eridu Defense Force. Not to mention something top secret like catching a mole. It's bound to be dangerous. What should we do? Do you want to accept it? Or should we decline and leave Shepard to his own luck? Fortune favors the bold. Let's accept it. That's true. The commission is already uploaded to the proxy network. Check it out when you make up your mind. Awaiting further instructions. Ready for combat. Ambi, in position. Need something? Good choice. will come online in five seconds. He goes by the name Mr. Mole. Five, four, three, two. Mr. Mole, I have brought Phaethon. I'm sure you're close by. If it's convenient, why don't we discuss this in person so we can begin the operation immediately? I want to leave the Defense Force as soon as possible. I plan to buy a blackcurrant farm with your payment. Then spend the rest of my days with my canine Thyron maid in the tranquil countryside. I take it all back. Compared to Soldier Eleven's backstory, there's nothing unusual about Crimson Twilight. You're very quiet? I thought you'd always admired Phaethon. <laughs> I can't see you through remote communication, but uh, I smell deception. There's no free lunch in this city. A legendary proxy like Phaethon has had numerous achievements throughout their career. <laughs> There's no way someone like that would work with a nobody like me. Not on a trivial chore like stealing military info. <laughs> you call that trivial? If we're lying... And I'm not Phaethon. May my instant noodles always be missing the seasoning packets for the rest of my life. Uh, Fire Lizard Inferno extra spicy cup noodles without its seasoning packet is like... like a soldier without their weapon, general, or homeland. Unimaginable. We understand your sincerity now. Uh, 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 wait a moment. I'm just not feeling it. 
The Defense Force is going to conduct weapons testing in this hollow. To show your good faith, I want you to help me set up military transmitters around the area. You talk the talk, but if you want me to believe you're the real Faithen, you'll have to walk the walk. We need to deploy transmitters here. We have three target locations in total. It's up to you where to place them. A legendary prop. Valve status analyzed. The valve opens only once sufficient gear coins have been inserted. Extracting carrot data.
Master, we have arrived at target point number one. Deploy the transmitter. Fairy now computing. <laughs> Proxy, you're not really faith in at all, are you? <laughs> Why so quiet? Say something. At least deny it. A clean and efficient job. Well done. Faithen saves the day again! Dispelling a client's doubts with mere words should be a cinch for a, a legendary proxy like you, right? I'm charging extra for psychological consultations. Mr. Mole. What have you got to say? I'm hurt. You're being quite rude, despite me putting in all this effort to get faith in here. Suspicious and probing. That's no way to show respect to such a legendary proxy. In fact, I really didn't want to bring it up, but I paid a staggering price to get faith in here. So I want this collaboration to work more than anyone else here. <clears throat> right, faith in? When did you pay? Oh, yes, the price was very steep. What? Sergeant, you... Uh, you're right. I should have known. Why would someone like Faithen want to work with me? Uh, I never would have guessed it was you, Sergeant, making such a sacrifice. My attitude is unacceptable. The cost isn't important. It's the result that matters. Such is the life of a soldier. There's no time to lose, Faithen. Time to place the next beacon. And all thanks to you. This Mr. Mole guy. He might still have some doubts, but he seems to trust us for now. All thanks to Soldier Eleven's help. You're doing good, Wise. Keep it up. Careful. Betrayal is our enemy's nature. Secret path. Extracting carrot data. <laughs> Mr. Mole has been here and found nothing. Mr. Mole. Master, Mr. Mole seems to be lying. Memo. This is private room number 15. Crossed out. Military assets. Traps are set on both sides.
Master, we have arrived at target point number two. Deploy the transmitter. Soldier 11 took the transmitter. Soldier 11 returned the transmitter. Enough. No need to talk. Just do it. Fairy now computing. Setup complete. Let's go to the next location. Master, we have arrived at target point number three. Deploy the transmitter. Based on past experience, Master, I suggest confirming if Soldier 11 has other arrangements. Soldier 11 is wiping her goggles. Fairy now computing. Finished so fast, and with such skill and such finesse. My word, there's no faking that. Oh, I want to run over and worship every inch of ground that faith and sets foot on. No! Wait. There's too much at stake to make such a quick decision about their true identity. And I'm not sure why, but I'm pretty sure I can smell a rat. Ah, uh, yes. Mm, smelly. Oh, rats. I can hear you. I hear a strange noise. Is there a problem with the connection? Yes, let's just assume it is as you say. I can understand the client being occasionally mistrustful. Faith, uh, Proxy, you understand? It's only human to be curious. After all, as Faithen... Faithen? Faithen is a living legend. They know everything possible about the Hollows. Even school kids in New Era do know that. Big words. Not even the Hollow Investigative Association says they know everything about the Hollows. Mr. Mole. Since we're conversing in real time, you must also be in this hollow. Hmm. That's just common sense. Believe it or not, my years of experience tell me that this hollow is about to become active. Ethereal activity is about to skyrocket. How come? The association didn't send out any ether warnings. Mr. Mole has no idea. Barry's a lot faster than the association. <laughs> That's a warning, Siren. How is that possible? Beating the association based purely on experience. Now that's what I call legendary. Those are ethereal tracks ahead. Get ready for a fight. Keep an eye out on your end as well, Mr. Moore. Do you, you're concerned about my safety? <sighs> my face is so flushed it's heating up the whole hollow! <sighs> okay, then consider taking care of those ethereals as the marvelous conclusion to your little adventure. I'm going to hang up. Sorry to bother you. Ah, what phrase could ever befit your mighty reputation? I'll be sure to give all of it to you personally after battle. All right, the day's last challenge. Get a 
acquired. Locked on target. Copy that. Prepare! To burn! It's over! That's that. Excellent! Splendid! Wonderful! <laughs> I never imagined agents and proxies could work so efficiently and seamlessly together! This is a piece of cake for Phaethon. I think I've earned your trust now. Am I? Uh, am I dreaming? I'm working with a real faith in right now. <sighs> it's like I've been crawling in the gloom my whole life. Then today, the sun sheds a beam of light on my face. <laughs> Calm down, Mr. Mole. Now that that's done, I suppose our actual mission can proceed. things on our end. Wait for me to contact you. Be quick. I'll give the sergeant her farm life dream, and I'll try to get the highest payment for Phaethon. <laughs> now that we're done talking business, can I ask you something? Was it really you who infiltrated the top vault through a sub hollow? And then at the old institute site, that perfect exit... Some matters should remain a secret. Apologies. I can't offer such information at this time. Oh, okay. See you next time, then. I'll miss you! Uh, I have a favor to ask. Next time we meet, uh, can I please get your autograph? Or uh, could you record a wake-up call for your little mole? <laughs> He hung up just like that? What a loud mouth. He's a lot more chatty than I expected after he let his guard down. Anyway, let's get out of the hollow. That was a pretty smooth escape. There were a few dicey moments. That went better than expected. I didn't use even half of the lines I prepared beforehand. Like, Phaethon can sneak into anywhere with complete stealth. Not even a door sensor or infrared faucet could detect Phaethon. Quick reminder, we agreed to remove that line back at rehearsal. I was worried when Shepard endorsed you, but you're pretty good. Well done, Proxy. I'll contact you when the spy starts to move. <laughs>